Good evening. Let's start with some tennis news. Kevin Anderson admits that the decision to retire was months in the making. Once he couldn't ignore the realization that he was no longer operating at 100%, he knew it was time to call it a day. Anderson took a trip down memory lane on a career that peaked at number five on the ATP rankings. ENCA's Florim Timkulu has more. With highs that include contesting two Grand Slam finals, ordering his achievements over a 15-year professional career might be a bit difficult for Kevin Anderson. But playing at home on his way to winning the first of his seven ATP Tour titles is an achievement the lanky South African will always remember. Winning um, the uh, South African Open um, as my first tournament in, uh, in 2000 and, uh Jeez, 2010, 2011, I'm forgetting the year. Um, you know, just being right, right, right at home, friends and family watching, um, that was really, you know, a great memory. For the first time in 30 years, life will look different for someone whose dedication to tennis began at just five years of age. It was very difficult, and I think um, for many months, uh, I was continuing to keep playing, even though I felt that, um, looking back at it in hindsight, I, I think that my sheer passion and determination wasn't maybe quite there as it had been for the rest of my life. In 2007, Anderson realized his objective of turning college tennis at the University of Illinois into a professional career. But I was so caught up in the journey. Like, I mean, getting my first ATP point was really exciting for me. And then um, winning my first uh, professional event. Uh, um, I always just had my sights set ahead of me, which I think allowed me to you know, keep, um, uh, keep improving. But as an outsider from the southern tip of the African continent, challenges went beyond getting the ball over the net to his opponents. I think one thing coming from South Africa is I always felt a little bit intimidated in the international scene. Um, we're a little bit isolated, and some people deal with it better than others, but I, I remember, like, just sometimes being a little bit, um, as I said, in, like intimidated and not able to play my best tennis. I think some of my self-belief was not quite there. Anderson's last match was at the Miami Masters in March, and he will remain available to work with Tennis South Africa in retirement. Florin Timkulu, Johannesburg.